Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes. Today I'm going to talk about how to find the battery in uh, HP G62435X. Uh, we're for the, we're going to look for the BIOS battery. Okay, so uh, sometimes I, I wrote, made a video which was pretty popular about fixing the black screen of death and that has to do with the battery not being charged properly but sometimes you may have to replace that battery. It could cause issues <coughs> with your uh, system not booting possibly. It could be, could be the problem uh, that's uh, causing that and uh, I just wanted to show you where the battery is on this one because it's a pretty involved procedure to to get to it and then you can decide whether it's worth it or not and this this laptop is one I've uh, taken apart a while back and done a bunch of different things it was it was having problems so I've, I've actually taken parts off of it to fix uh, an, another similar laptop See, uh, sometimes I'll do that I'll buy a similar similar computer and then w as it gets broken I can take parts off of the old one to uh, to uh, fix the new one. So anyway, in one of the videos they claim, this is the hard drive here, I've already taken all the screws out, taken the back plates out, removed the hard drive, and uh, in one of the videos it was kind of nice that the battery was actually under the hard drive and easy to get at, but in this computer unfortunately it is not, and uh, you have to take it pretty much all apart. You gotta take out these ROM things because they or uh, the RAM because they will get in your way when you're trying to flip the motherboard up because the uh, <coughs> the BIOS battery is actually on the opposite side, the most impossible place to get to. Okay. And you will eventually have to take the, the screw out of this guy too as well. And uh, in order to do this type of stuff, you're going to need a uh, jeweler's screwdriver. So I have uh, some screwdrivers here. There's a flat one, and there's a Phillips one. Okay, so we have a flat and a Phillips one. And we're going to take off the, uh, the Wi-Fi device here. It's got a little screw that holds it in. And when you're doing this, make sure to keep track of the screws and make sure they do, don't fall into the computer. And uh, <coughs> like I said, there was about 100 screws all in these different slots that you had to take apart just to get to this point. Right. This guy is seated in there, so you got to unplug him. And I'm just going to leave the wires connected because that will loosen loosen that thing up enough to uh, get to what we want to get to when we get there. Okay. And so you actually have to to take out the motherboard. There is one screw underneath this freaking keyboard. And I already have this opened up, but it is a pain. It is a real, real project just trying to get this thing out. It's got little tabs, and you've got to pry it out. I did it a while ago, so I don't remember all the steps, but it was it was an involved process. And there was like one screw right here that you had to undo. And of course, when you take this off, there is a little strip here that you have to unplug from a little bus bus bar and then there's a bunch of other little bus bars here and here and a plug up there I believe that's got to be unplugged and lots of screws so you gotta undo that part portion and you flip it over actually let's let's do this let's uh let's open her up Okay, so I guess we're 
we didn't flip it over, we just pry off the top part here. And we got all sorts of stuff there. There was all these little bus bar things. There's a little, usually a, you can see it on the top. There's just like a ribbon cable. And then they go into <coughs> a little thing. There's a, I didn't realize this before, but there's like little flippy things. Like, let's take a look at up here. You hear some little bus bars. There's a little flippy thing, you gotta flip it up like that, and then you can grab onto this little tab and pull the ribbon cable out. This one's actually a plug. It's gotta be unplugged. And I would recommend not pulling on the wires if you can get away with it, but maybe if you get a little screwdriver in there to help pry it out. See, where is our little screwdriver? Okay. So I've got a, like a little screwdriver in there and help unplug that guy. So he's unplugged. There's another one below. He's really hard to unplug, but you actually don't need to unplug that guy to get to <coughs> the bias. These, these, uh, little plugs down here, the USB. You gotta kinda pull the case away to pop pop it out. Uh, there's lots of plugs like this guy that connect your laptop to uh, the screen. You got a little tab you can pull up on it. There is another one down here. Uh, this is a real fun process. Okay, and lots of screws inside of here once you get inside, so you can undo a whole lot more screws. Like I said, you gotta pop this case away. Oh, this is such a nightmare. It's not so bad taking it apart, but you gotta do everything in reverse order and make sure you got everything hooked up. Actually, I did put some, uh, let's take a look here. I did put a couple screws back in. There's a screw right here that I did put back in the whole thing together just so it doesn't fly apart. Well, it's, and I don't lose parts. Oh. And there's another screw, I don't know if you can see it, up here at the top of the motherboard. We'll take these guys out. Okay, make sure not to lose them. Nothing like some metal screws floating around inside of your computer that cause a bunch of problems. Am I right? So, take these screws out. Hopefully, we are free and clear. Okay. Okay. So let's flip this guy up now. Take a look at the bottom side. And here we can see a bunch of good stuff. Here's our cooling fan, the cold finger that comes over to the CPU. And here is our bias battery. So I guess if we knew that it was right there, right up in the top corner, like this is where it would be on the computer, I would almost recommend just drilling a hole in the bottom of your computer to try to replace it. But you gotta be careful because there's a lot of circuits and stuff in here and you know, that's, that's a risky process too. But uh, it is very, very inconvenient to get to. And so let's let's take a closer look at the battery. Okay, so there's our bias battery. And uh, I guess if we take 
one of these jeweler screwdrivers with the flat sides on it. We can get in there and try to pop this thing out. And it is a hearing aid battery. And the inscription on it CR2032. So there is your battery. CR2032. And uh, let's check the voltage on it. This computer, I think, had a different problem. I think that the, uh, the motherboard actually burnt up. So let's. So maybe. I can stick it because my, my other computer is actually starting to act up even more. I think maybe the the one I did the uh, black screen of death on is uh, I'm not able to boot it any longer using that trick, and I'm thinking that could be the BIOS battery is going bad. So this one looks good. Uh, these lithium hearing aid type batteries are supposed to have a voltage of about 3.24 volts, and it's looking good. So maybe I could when I get the motivation up try to take the other thing apart. And stick this battery in it and see if that helps it boot. Anyway, there's the location of the lithium battery in the computer. And yeah, you did, if you did want to do this, I'm not sure if I recommend this, but the battery would be under this this area right here. So, <clears throat> if you want to try to get to it without disassembling the whole computer, it might be possible to do some surgery on the bottom plastic case to get to it. But anyway, this is Dr. Jaynes. Thanks for watching.